Namaste viewers and welcome to the episode 6 of NICU Diaries and to answer your queries I have Dr Ravi Swami and Dr Sanjeev Reddy joining in today how do you handle uh, ethical considerations and decision making in an ICU such as end of life care can you just throw some light on that so in a ICU environment unfortunately there will be times when we have to talk about the outcome so most babies uh, that come through to an ICU they have a, a very favorable outcome so they recover and go home but uh, there are times when uh, the condition that we are treating for is such that you know so the outcome is futile mm-hmm. so these are the times when we have to have some difficult conversations so we sit down with the uh, parents so try and uh, gather as much information as possible about the baby and uh, also uh, try and speak to the parents uh, in a manner they understand about all the uh, things that is happening with a particular baby so once we have uh, um, decided on what is the condition and what are the likely outcomes we have a set process in place so where uh, we explain uh, the likely outcomes and then get the parents consent and get them to uh, uh, sign the appropriate paperwork so that we can do it in a uh, uh, acceptable and uh, uh, legal way what would be the long term developmental and health outcomes for infants who spent more time in an icu it is uh, not generalizable so basically so the developmental outcomes depend on what the baby is admitted for so for example if we have baby who is extremely premature so they have a set complications that is expected to happen in icu so the outcome and the eventual development neurodevelopmental outcome will depend on what exactly will happen so the key principle is that you know if earlier the baby is born the more likely the chance of the neural developmental outcome is so and the complication rate also huh, increases uh, can you just provide some insights about what are the recent advancements and breakthroughs in neonatal medicine per se that have improved the outcomes uh, for the infants who are there in an icu so uh, there are multiple beehive of research going on but if you say name two or three which really had a major breakthrough would be revolutionized how we look after the preterm babies that has improved their breathing outcome the second thing would be the therapeutic hypothermia which is also for babies who have got lack of oxygen mm-hmm. that has come as a very significant uh, treatment the third thing would be medicines like antenatal steroids previously most of the medicines which we were focusing on the babies but giving the steroids to the mother that has made a huge difference in our outcomes as well so these are sort of the three main papers i would probably say that has made revolutionized the neonatal treatment uh, what would be the key research areas that you think in neonatology and nicu that are uh, that we as a hospital are focusing currently on so um, currently most of us have our own interest in what we would like so predominantly my research focuses on uh, uh, brain so i'm looking at uh, term babies who have got lack of oxygen and that is where my predominantly research has been going on so the last uh, 10 years uh, i have spent in uh, how best we can work on this so we have just completed one multi country act to be honest randomized controlled trial couple of years back in lancet we are doing one more study now lot of things to understand uh, so it's still exciting to look forward actually that ends our episode 6 thank you so much viewers for watching us